So friends, this is my friend, Ted Young. Ted lives in Knoxville, Tennessee, and he has a giant collection of Elvis memorabilia. And Ted is very knowledgeable. This series is going to be about Ted's collection. And I won't put it out with this series, but Ted actually jumped the fence in 1972 and met a surprise visitor. So be looking for that upcoming. Stay tuned, friends. Meet Ted Young. Wow. Okay. So let's start here. Tell us who you are. Name's Ted Young. Go for Tennessee Ted. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, and been an Elvis fan for many, many years and a collector. So, Clearly a collector. So what do you collect primarily? I collect all things Presley, uh, but here lately I've gotten carried away with the movie stuff uh, because of the uh, rarity of it. And uh, I've started putting the pieces together on a movie collection, but I collect records, uh, press books, just anything and everything, especially during the time he was alive. So what I deal with is authentic, uh, nothing up here that's a reproduction or anything, so it's a real deal. It's got to be a one-off, and, and we're not talking about things uh, A.D., after past, exactly. after most, dead. Most things we're talking different. about real deal stuff. Yes, sir. Of course, those things that are after past now are old. Uh, you know? Some, of them, some <laughs> yeah. of them are, yes. Yeah. Uh, They're 40, 40 years old now. Absolutely. So... Tell us what you got. Well. I see you got a microphone here. You been down here singing? Yeah, I do a little singing on the side. But uh, most of these posters are from, there's a lot from the U.S., but a lot of them are from overseas. Uh, we have uh, most countries that are represented. So it, what is this? Amor? This is from Belgium. So what's the what's the name of the uh, Lo movie? Loving You. Loving You. Yeah. Amor. Yep. Friend and Etique. I don't yeah. know how to say that. Oh, I see loving you on the side. Right. That is very, very cool. We have them in Belgium. Uh, well, these are USA. But over on this other wall, we have more of the uh, foreign stuff. But okay. uh, uh, come right on. Yeah, let's take a look. Stand these. Uh, we have movies from uh, Germany, Japan, uh, England. It covers all gambits. Uh, the graphics are different. That's generally what attracts me. Something uh, that I haven't got that was the same graphics. Uh, these are Belgian. These here. Uh, all of these are from Belgium. Uh, this is USA, but these are from uh, country of Belgium right through here. Uh, it's mix and match. What I do is I get five or six, get them framed, and then I start pasting them together. So. Uh, with color combinations and graphics and all that good stuff. Uh, have some more foreign stuff here from Belgium and, and England. Johnny. Yes, this is from France. This is a French one. That one's from Belgium. Uh, uh, the foreign stuff, as far as the artwork and all, is generally much superior than the U.S., but it's still hard to get the U.S. stuff. So... How are you getting these foreign ones? Uh, Buying them online, having them shipped over? I have a I have a contact here in the States that got me really turned on to the movie stuff because everybody was buying the records years ago and the record prices went up so high and the movie stuff was laying on these dealers' tables for almost nothing. And uh, we started picking it up and uh, I'm in the process now of trying to research how many of these were put out for each movie to where we could better determine the value. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping uh, uh, Angie Marcese down at Graceland could help us out because I have a feeling Colonel Parker probably had something in his archives that would be- That would show you numbers. As yeah. meticulous as he was on business, uh, it would it would help a lot in the collecting community to know if, uh, say like this wild in the country, was there 10,000 of these one sheet posters put out and so many of the uh, I know the larger size are much rarer, but uh, how many of these are still around today? And you don't see them at the convention shows very often. So there's not very many. Uh, and used to they were they were laying there just for the picking. So uh, got the movie stuff. Later on, went back into the record stuff. So, but I, I try to cover all bases. Uh, behind you here, 
is a lot of the 1956 Elvis Presley Enterprise. Wow. Uh, okay, I did stories on this stuff. Do you right. remember that? I do. Yeah, so you actually have a real pair of the uh, tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Uh, Elvis is seen in these tennis shoes playing football. I now, that's that, a girl's pair here. I have here. that picture right there to the left. Oh, yes, I, you sure do, right I, there. I, now, is this a girl's pair or a guy's pair? I really don't know. I got them from a dealer from Texas. I really don't know. That is very cool. So there's the hat. Board the game. The wool. The commencement, commencement from Humes High School. Yeah, look at that. And at the last option, I picked up the uh, second medal. There's the shot. bracelet. Yes, yes, sir. Pillow. Well, this stuff is ultra rare. Right. Well, Because I've never seen uh, most of these things I've never even seen in person. Right. Well, back in the 50s, people bought stuff, even though they were, you know, novelty items, so to speak. They used them, and then when they got done with them, they were thrown away. Where today, somebody would buy like five or something, put four back in a closet. There's a dog tag. Yes. Well, this is this is the the real deal. What's uh, that little ring? That's a ring from... A little pinky ring. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. The what travel case. Uh, yeah. Record those were case. Well, those were well made, too. There wasn't nothing cheap. The guitar. Guitar, uh, scrapbook, record, Elvis Presley record. That, so that is an Elvis Presley R RCA. When you open yes. it up, it says it on the inside. Yes. Wow. I'm trying to find the three record set that went with it. I have the two, but I can't find the third one. So That is very, very cool. Uh, now, is this autographed by Priscilla? I guess that comes to from, Cricket. That comes yeah, Cricket one. was a gay girl. Exactly. Yeah, that was Sandy Miller's friend. Right. Yeah. She get, I don't know why she gave that up, but anyway, I, I'm trying to think exactly how I obtained that, but uh, I got it there. And anyway, I covered the records, like I said, the Just Jockey copies and USA releases for him. Wow. It, uh, it's been... That is amazing. Oh, Elvis slot machine. Right. That come from your home, uh, Nashville down there. Did it? Yeah, a uh, guy got flooded out during the big flood. Yeah. And uh, he had a few of them. My brother got me that for Christmas. Man, I would love to have one of those. That is very cool. Autograph Tom Parker. Tom Parker. I got that from uh, the Who's that? To Al? Yeah. Al who? From, uh, the Devorian family was set up at the Peabody for a few years, and I was able to obtain that. Oh, okay. And, uh, Let's see. It says, but your ideal five, all right, for a stranger, but not for for your friend. friend. Yeah, Al, I like you, <laughs> my friend, but your deal is all right for, oh, I see, but your deal is all right for a stranger, but not for a friend. So he was shooting the deal down. <laughs> yeah, they were good, they were good friends. That is funny. But, uh, that's, his, that's his way. So you have people that come here? Yeah, you're going to sign, sign in. Sign, yes, sir, I'll yes, sign sir. in. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've got my own House of Elvis. I've got my own book. Wow, so, House of Elvis. That's very so, cool. Uh, anyway. So more... More stuff. These are Italy, all foreign. Japan. These are France, Japan, Italy. You name the country, we've just about anything but from Russia. And uh, So you couldn't find... Well, there's nobody in Russia had money. There was a guy in Russia back in the 50s that took old discarded x-ray plates and made... had a machine. Somehow he got it and made a... started making rock and roll recordings even though if he got caught you can imagine what the penalty would be uh -huh. and there was a lot of the presley stuff he cut plus other stuff but i've never been able to obtain one but they were no. they were made on discarded x-ray plates. okay so right now if you're in russia and you have one of those oh, you're interested in it right? absolutely how can they get a hold of you email uh colts fan zero zero two four at gmail.com okay so, very cool. So, uh, and as we go, if there's other things you're interested in and you want to just say, hey, if you, oh, if you have this, contact me. It just popped Because in my people head. have some of this stuff that are going to watch this video right. and they may be interested in, in uh, letting you obtain it right. to add to your collection. Okay. Yeah, we have tons of albums. I, I didn't pull the box. Oh, out, wow. All these are... This is 45s. This, this is out. These are all 45s here. And uh, bootlegs. I've got the boots, which uh, first time I, I got a dealer, uh, this, a 
a dealer approached me one time at a convention and asked me, this took me by surprise, my mind wasn't on it, and said, uh, you want to, are you interested in buying some shoes? And I thought, no, I don't need any shoes, you know, I'm on vacation. And uh, anyway, uh, here's another one. Uh, these are very sought after now. Uh, FBI put a stop to them. At yeah, one, at I know they raided Elvis. Uh, I was down there at the convention. You were there when yeah. it happened? I didn't know. A lot, of, a lot of you fans don't know that the uh, Elvis, uh, I wouldn't call it Elvis Con back then, but it was over at, was it at Marlowe's? Cooks. It, Cooks. At Cooks. Cooks Convention Center. Yeah, they down. actually came in and raided and shut the thing down, I've took got, people's stuff. I've got pictures of that. In fact, there's a picture of me with a bag of them under my arm, and they're, but they were going after the dealers. They weren't going after the people that was doing yeah. the buying. But uh, uh, that was a crazy What afternoon. year was that? 81? 81, 82, somewhere yeah. right in there. Yeah, I've and, heard the stories. Oh, yeah. Press come storm. It was all planned, and uh, uh, they were. I think they had like two FBI agents go to each dealership, and they knew exactly what they were looking they for. Were who for had specific what. stuff? Absolutely. So let me ask you: Do you yeah. have any bootlegs from Finland? I would have to look at the inventory. There's uh, a photo of Elvis in front of a train station. Is the one that I'm I, thinking I do, about? I do not have. I do not have. That. Okay. Because I've been to that train station. Oh, you have. Now it looks like Elvis is in front of this train station in Finland, but it's it's fake. Photo. It's Photoshop. Okay. Well, their version of it back then. But I've been to that train station. Okay. And that will come up in a video. I haven't even started on the Europe videos other than Germany, but right. that will come up in a video okay. at some point. Okay. Um, I have, you know, like I told you, I got 55 hours of Europe, so. <laughs> I got you. That's going to take some time to edit. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, anyway, the records is an ongoing collection of mine because there's just so much stuff out there. It's just unbelievable. You can't get it all. I just bought some records just a few minutes ago at a pawn shop for 11 bucks. Well, a you, bunch of albums. Can't Elvis beat albums. That. Yeah. Well, you can't beat that. Yeah. I'll have uh, to get you to look at them. Why, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, more movie memorabilia here. Uh, Germany, England. Uh, now, the piece about England over in Europe, a lot of places, it wasn't Viva Las Vegas, the American version. It was Love in Las Vegas. That was the title. So so this is a British quad. What they would have called it in, in Britain. A British quad. Wow. Love which is Las bigger Vegas. than our half sheet. This movie stuff is all, you got terminology, one sheet, six sheet, three sheet. And okay. I'll, yeah, try to, I'll try to point it. This is okay. a British quad right here. And uh, this is a one sheet. And this? This is the daddy of them all. This is a six sheet GI Blues. It was never taken out of the tube. Uh, I obtained this from a, a buy from a dealer in uh, Texas some years back. And uh, it, that thing is giant. Yeah, it is. And it's in mint condition. It's been linen backed. And uh, uh, linen back is a way of preserving movie posters it's it's somewhat expensive today years ago it wasn't but uh the only country for whatever reason it doesn't they don't like linen backing is germany they they don't believe in it so they don't you very seldom will find a piece from germany that has been linen back they, hmm. they just don't fool with it the germans don't go that way no no sir so that's this is follow that dream right uh yes uh, from italy and uh and what size is that uh the foreign stuff is on a bigger scale. I think this is a 55, 39 to 47, I believe. But it's not the normal scale that you were just describing. No. Like the American The scale. U.S. U.S. were all pretty well defined on, on each one of their stuff. But and it's because they had frames made in the movie theaters right, that probably. specific things, yeah. Uh, European can can span, there's some of them it's 55 by 61. I mean, they're monstrous, which eventually will go up on the ceiling as soon as I figure out how to do it. But uh, got a Japanese Viva Las Vegas. Uh, different. Uh, That's a uh, Elvis Presley That's signed a check. Uh-huh. Uh, That's from the For album. cash. Uh, for $100 on Valentine's Day. Uh-huh. 1964. Buying some flowers. And 64, who knows who the girl was. Right. Housekeeper, whoever it was, got sort of a bonus. Uh, very cool.
coupons. I'd look for years to try to get a personal check, and I just could not, you couldn't find them. And occasionally now they're more, they're starting to pop up a little bit more, but uh, they're still hard to come by. Yeah. So. But I think the, the uh, EPE is putting them out now, aren't they? Right. Are they digging through them? And yeah, they're, they're popping up. I think Dick Groves let a few go, and different people that worked in the inner circle. Uh, so what's this? The strip tease? What? What that's, is that? That's girl happy. That's girl happy. So it's the strip tease. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but wow. Anyway, that that, sounds that's, a, that's from France. That sounds a little, little. Uh, right. <laughs> They some of these titles. I mean, it, you look uh, at it go what in the world? That's like uh, harem scarum in the USA was the title, and overseas in Europe it was harem holiday. So why that was dictated that way, I do not know. That's interesting. So uh, uh, go back. Well, let's we can finish the uh, rest of the tour, and then we'll okay. come back to the library. I guess. Oh, the library. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> have a uh, a bunch of artifacts here. Uh, I have one that's a, this is a prop that was used, if you ever saw the movie Double Trouble, yeah. this was the uh, prop that was used in it. The it record. was actually in the movie. In the movie. It's the only one known to exist. Wow. He's guy Lambert's the guy he's playing. Yeah, that's, that's his, his uh, guy there. Right. That is very cool. And uh, see, I bought that at an auction at uh, the Peabody Hotel about 15 years ago. I see a, a Christmas card. Right. Send the Colonel. That's the real we deal. Have a bunch of those uh, different odds and ends. Tickets. That's what Kathleen Westmoreland and Elvis. Yes. That belt right there. I have touched that belt and held it recently. Okay. The belt you see I, in that picture. I know where you you know where it. that was at. All right. No.